should you fuel during exercise? We see so many people nowadays boasting about the high fat, low, zero carb diet, ketosis and things like that. Yesterday I actually spoke to a client who had been going into full ketosis and he was losing 30 to 45 seconds per mile on his endurance work purely because his body wasn't able to fuel efficiently. Now, when we look at the way our body stores fuel, and you look, for example, in the liver, <clears throat> around 400 calories from glycogen. That's about 20 minutes of fuel. Muscle, around 1600 calories per, or of glycogen. That's around 80 minutes of fuel. Blood glucose, around 40 calories, so around two minutes of fuel. We're looking at the protein in the body giving around 34,000 worth of calories. And that's around 1,800 minutes of fuel. The fat, now that's the most efficient form of fuel at 93,000 calories. So around 4,900 minutes of fuel. But is the most efficient form of fuel gonna be the most efficient for your endurance? So, when we look at how you're going to perform with endurance and you look to go by something, your VO2 max, for example, and a percentage, the body is good at burning fat for fuel, up to around sort of 60% of your VO2 max. Get to around 70, 72% of your VO2 max, and studies are actually showing that your body cannot efficiently burn fat for fuel at those rates. So, if you're walking and you've got no carbohydrate stores, that's cool. Uh, the average marathon will be run around sort of like 15 to 20 calories per minute. So that's actually going to mean that your body is not going to be running efficiently on fat. It's going to be above 70, 72% of your VO2 max. Definitely above 60%. So when we get fuel in our bodies for endurance, we want to aim to make sure that we are fueling them with carbohydrates. When you are going very, very, very long distance, ultra distance, your body is gonna use up those carbohydrate stores and it's good to know that you do have fat reserves for energy. But as long as you are aware that you are not gonna be able to perform at as high a percent of your VO2 max, then that is gonna be what makes a lot of the difference. Okay, so try and refuel during your sessions, during your races, during your marathons, during your Ironmans, during your ultra marathons. But be aware that if you are fueling with fat, it is just the same as shooting yourself right in the foot. 